Hey everyone, it's Joe Nazaeus from The Automator, and today we have another little example of a cool little script on how you would go about getting rid of, like, seeing the top on Explorer here, if you didn't want to have be able to let people close that, like, you can assign a hotkey to enable and disable that close button. Like, this this is one of the great things about hockey. It's so powerful because you can control other programs, right? Right, so, not even your, that you didn't create yourself. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, <laughs> if we start the script... It runs in the background because it uh, works with certain hotkeys. If you want to know the hotkeys, you just right click on the script and you will see uh, several actions here. Disable, enable the close button, and you can set it up to auto disable or add exclusions here. Now, the auto disable means that when the script starts running, it automatically goes ahead and checks if those programs are open and disables the key. Now, let's go ahead and use control one here. So here at the top, I have the close button for Notepad. Again, this is not a program that we created. This is a program from Windows. But if you use the Control-1 key on it, now the close button is disabled. So this cannot be closed. It can only be minimized or you know put aside, but you cannot close it. That is probably for um, having uh, a program uh, in a way that you don't close it by mistake by clicking on well, it, especially. I was going to say, like some programs have a lot of overhead and right. will think, hey, I'm done with this and I want to close it. But it's like, you know what? Really <laughs> cautious. I'm like, no, just minimize it. But you don't want right. to do that. This will help you fix that, you know, disorder that like I got to close it. All right. Just, you know, let's not make it an option. Yeah, for example, Windows Visual Studio Code, whenever you try to open that, it takes a long while to open. Why would you want to close it? Just minimize it for now. But right. we do that automatically. We just go ahead and close the thing. So you don't want to do that. Well, we can disable the button temporarily. You can use the Control Shift one instead, and then you have your close button available. And this is for any window. And let me try a different window. Oh, no. So if I have this one here and I use my control one here, it disables it. How about this one? Yeah, it's disabled as well. So it doesn't matter which window you do this for, it works just fine. You can just go ahead and use the hotkey control shift one to enable the close button back. It's really easy to use. I think you can configure the, the hotkeys to put whatever you want. But in any case, yeah, you have your disabled list and your exclusions list that you can add windows to that list and they automatically be disabled automatically when the tool starts or never be disabled. If you have a window that you never want to disable the close button, you can add it to this exclusion list. Cool. So hopefully you enjoyed that. If you really, if you learned something here or you like this script, please like the video really helped us out. We released videos twice a week. Usually Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're the largest auto hockey channel out there. This is what we do for a living, guys. We, we help people like you work smarter, not harder. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber and check out our other videos. We really appreciate it. Cheers.